So I am, I guess, at the end of my, um, I guess think it would be day four, um, and my hospital stay. Uh, things have slowly been improving. My heart rate has returned to normal, um, pretty much so. And um, my oxygen requirements have returning also to more their normal scenario, um, with the exception of, you know, um, a few, you know, certain times and stuff like that. Um, the virus that I have is running its course. It's now to, um, the coughing part, I guess. So I am actually lucky to be on the video with you right now without, um, coughing. I have been coughing for several hours straight. Uh, so I guess I've earned a reprieve maybe. Um, but, uh, I will be happy when this is done. That's what they tell me is that, um, due to this virus, I am having an exasperation and, um, we're starting to see things start returning more to my normal. So I'm happy for that. Um, I've been doing a lot of walking in the halls. I tried to, um, show you some of that. I'm not really able to walk and talk um, too much right yet, so um, not that I'm able to do that on a real strong basis every day anyways. Um, and other than that, had some company today, super tough time sleeping last night, um, still trying to get used to um, a BiPAP machine. I guess they will be sending me home with a Trilogy. Um, I like the effects of the machine, how it feels on my lungs when I'm done. Um, nice, stretched out, open, and ready for use. Um, I'm not liking how it interferes with my sleep. So I have some getting used to to deal with on that end, but I am willing to fight that battle uh, because I like the results. So <laughs> other than that... Um, yeah, things have been good. It's kind of strange. I haven't really needed too much of my Lasix in here, um, which probably tells me I have a little bit more work to do on my uh, critiquing my salt in my diet, probably, and maybe some sugar, too. Um, just trying to get it down lower numbers maybe would be all I would need to undo the Lasix need, which would also undo the potassium need which pretty much cuts out most of my pills, then I would just have um, the Opsimut and the inhaler and an iron pill. So I might make that a plan of action. Um, I thought we were doing good, but I think what it is is there's still some stuff that we use that just adds in too much salt and probably um, some of my oh, eating. And we you know, always try to eat at least two meals at home. Um, but we do often have a meal out if we're out on our errand days and stuff. And I may need to try to, I don't know, make those just salad days or something. Not sure. But, um, you know, I always sucks to give up any last normalcies. So we'll look into that and see what we can do. But, um, yeah. So in any case... Just wanted you guys to know that I am still here and um, still up and walking around, still moving, doing good, um, just continually moving in the right direction. So I'm excited about that. I just put on a new hose, and when I do that, it takes me a little while to get used to it. You know, the pain in the butt part of the hoses. Um, I do bring mine from home because the ones that they have here in the hospital are just torture. Uh, I've been blessed with um, a bunch of people that have been great caretakers while I've been here. I have not had really not one person that um, that I wasn't happy with the effort and the level of care and everything. So um, that makes it nice especially when you're stuck here for as long as I am. Hopefully tomorrow will be the day, though. So I will let you know. 
Have a good night, you guys. There's like two people actually that they care of me that just came up in the hallway.